OK, um, thank you for coming. Uh, for the next 15 uh, minutes, we'll talk about the, the new features and the past and the present also of the HTTP cache. Uh, first, I will introduce myself. Uh, I'm a French baguette, so uh, I'm, I have a bad accent uh, in English. Uh, I'm the creator of the Swan HTTP cache. That, uh, that's an HTTP cache written in Go. Uh, and I'm also the maintainer of the Caddy Cache Handler. Uh, and uh, I'm an active open source contributor. You can find me on GitHub searching Darkwick and Darkwick Dev on, uh, on Twitter. So uh, you can ask questions during the conference, but the, this talk is uh, really, uh, really uh, small. Uh, so you can ask after, uh, outside. Um, um, I want to say uh, the tech is political. So if you want to fight some uh, government's uh, directives or something else, you can do that um, at your point. And uh, also I, I manage uh, some students. So if you want to some coaching or anything else in Go, React or PHP, uh, just send me an email and we'll uh, see that. So uh, go back in the past, uh, there was Main, uh, too many providers that uh, bring us some, uh, some internet features. And we had the HTTP 1.0, uh, but this version was the first stable version of the H HTTP protocol, but uh, there was uh, a lack of description and a lack of uh, customization. Some uh, providers like Google or Akamai tried to implement on their own ways new features, uh, but each provider implemented it uh, on their own ways. So uh, the, the behavior could be different from uh, Google to, uh, to Akamai. And support that, support all providers uh, was impossible. In June uh, 1999, uh, Matrix was at the, uh, available at the cinema. And uh, they released the, the RFC uh, 2616, uh, also called HTTP 1.1. So the, an RFC is a Bayet blog, uh, long, uh, like uh, 60 pages. And it's uh, a fully technical uh, Bayet blog. And this RFC uh, introduced some grammar uh, about the HTTP request response, what is a request body, how to define it uh, more specifically uh, and precisely in this uh, description. It introduced some uh, HTTP headers that we are using today, like the content encoding or content type, uh, the range, uh, and many other headers that are still in the uh, HTTP uh, protocol today. But in this RFC, uh, we, we have the first part of the, the stable uh, caching in HTTP. And it starts with the following sentence. Uh, caching would, would be useless if it didn't significantly improve performance. So in the past, it was true. The cache was only for performance. But today, we have some uh, ecological uh, goals. And if your cache consumes 10 or uh, 20 uh, times more than your upstream, maybe you don't need your, your caching system. And uh, as it was the first uh, release of the HTTP uh, uh, caching uh, system, there was some. Uh, some bad sentences uh, like this one. If a stored response is not fresh enough, so it, it, uh, it couldn't be served to your client, the cache may still return the, clear, the response to the client. So it's not, it's not good because if your client don't want a cached response, you have to respect uh, it, his uh, choice. And uh, you can see uh, there is uh, a warning header here. So you can still use it. Nobody uses it today, but uh, it exists. It introduced some uh, cache control uh, directive. So 
the well known no cache and no store. Uh, no cache don't say uh, don't serve the cache, but okay if you find uh, a request or a response with the no cache, you have to revalidate with the server. A, a revalidation uh, is like a normal request, but uh, on your upstream, if the content didn't change, you have to return a, a not modified status code in your response. Uh, no store will say, okay, the return response uh, mustn't be stored in your cache. Um, the, the MaxAge directive uh, will say, uh, I accept the response and consider it as a, as a fresh uh, for uh, uh, if it has been stored for x second. So if you say max age equal uh, five, uh, you can't serve uh, a cached response um, uh, that has been cached for more than five seconds. And no transform uh, ensure that your uh, proxy uh, will not uh, modify your request or your response. It can't add any headers and uh, cannot uh, uh, edit the content. Um, the directive only for request, uh, you have the max tail uh, to say, okay, you can serve me a stale uh, response for X seconds. Uh, it's like the, uh, it's the same uh, as um, max age, but uh, for the stale, uh, format. Uh, the mean fresh, so uh, it's not used in production because it say, okay, if your uh, response is stored for uh, uh, since um, since uh, x seconds, you can serve me and uh, contact the upstream otherwise. And the only if cached, uh, say uh, okay, if you have a, a cached response. You can send me uh, send me that. The, um, in the response context, we have the public that say uh, your response can be uh, can be stored in your in any uh, cache system, private and shared cache. Uh, private uh, should be stored only on your browser cache because it's a private cache. Or your proxy should implement the, the private cache system. Um, the must revalidate uh, will try to revalidate each time you serve this response to the server to check if it's fresh enough and if the content uh, suits to the, to the expectations. The proxy will validate um, will tr will trigger a rev revalidation only on your proxy uh, and not on your browser, for example. Um, and the S MaxAge uh, is like the MaxAge, but for shared cache. We have some extensions uh, to, to extend the, these, uh, these directives. Um, and it's like a key value uh, to implement some custom logic in your cache systems. So here with the community key, community key uh, we define the value UCI and you can say, okay, if the value is UCI for this key, uh, I will store for uh, 10 seconds and five seconds otherwise. In August two, uh, 2001, uh, Google image uh, was released and we discovered the ESI language. Um, ESI, uh, the ESI language come with the ESI tags. Uh, who already uh, wrote some HTML in its uh, in its job or nobody? <laughs> okay, so it, uh, okay, I, I won't explain uh, what is HTML. Um, so here you return a web article uh, and you have the full page that would be cached in your varnish server, for example, uh, but you have a dynamic uh, header uh, with the, the user.php call. Um, your client will say, okay, send me article.html. 
it will request on the web server the whole uh, article, it will parse the, the HTML content and detect an ESI tag and make another request to user.php, get the response, and, uh, and will uh, replace the ESI block in your full page by the user.php uh, uh, response. Here is an example with the uh, ESI include. We have some different kind of uh, tags. The include uh, will define the, the source and the alt. If the source fail, it will try the alt and on a war, you can say fail and it will stop the render of the page. Uh, and uh, if it's on uh, continue, it will just omit, uh, omit that and replace by a blank uh, character. We have some try catch uh, blocks. Uh, and we can interpolate some variables. Uh, here I, wi uh, I will get from the cookies the type and uh, logo name and it will replace from, uh, from these values to give me uh, this HTML uh, tag uh, at the end. So here is an example for what could, could be your page with some uh, different uh, ESI, ta uh, ESI tags and uh, customize the TTL for each ESI tags blocks. Uh, in uh, uh, 2014, uh, the RFC uh, 7234 uh, defines the wall caching, provide us a new uh, HTTP header called edge that can be negative. Uh, and it defines the invalidation because the get request can be cached, but if you send a put delete or post request on the same resource, you have to invalidate now the uh, get uh, resource in cache. The stale while revalidate uh, is a new directive to say, okay, you, you can send me uh, uh, stale content, but you have to revalidate asynchronously with your upstream server. Uh, HTTP2, uh, better performance is uh, that, uh, that good. Uh, you have to enable that on your, on your yeah. server. Uh, some diagrams to illustrate uh, how it works and why it is faster, uh, thanks to the multiplexing. Uh, and uh, everything is in the same pipe uh, despite the uh, HTTP one. Uh, in 2022, uh, they uh, released two new RFCs, the cache status and the targeted cache control. Uh, the RFC uh, cache status uh, defines some directive to say, okay, my cache status uh, eats some cache uh, response or forward because uh, because of the uh, uh, of of that of why it uh, it uh, it has been forwarded. Uh, here, the first will eat, and uh, the TTL uh, will say it will be fresh for uh, three seconds. The second one is uh, an UI miss, uh, so it didn't find uh, the UI in the cache, and the the, the upstream return a not modified status code. Um, and the third uh, is also a new UI miss because I have a detailed directive to say my storage was unreachable. Uh, the targeted cache control, uh, your upstream will return some new cache control prefixed by uh, a name. So uh, we have the CDN, Varnish, and Caddy. And all your, st uh, all your services will uh, interpret and focus on this HTTP header uh, to, uh, to manage their cache. So Caddy will handle only Caddy cache control and it will store for one hour, Varnish for five minutes and the CDN for two minutes. And uh, it will fall back on the cache control if, uh, if um, none other match. And the client will store for uh, for, for no store because it will revalidate uh, each time he, it is uh, he's doing its request. And what, oh, 
no images. Uh, what about the future? Uh, probably in June, because all the IRFC are uh, uh, released in June. The surrogate keys, uh, the surrogate, surrogate keys uh, will, uh, will allow you to group uh, your uh, cache keys and invalidate them by, uh, by a, a global key, a global key name. First group, second group, and third group. Uh, yeah, no images too. Uh, there was so much implementation with uh, Cloudflare, Akamai, etc. And I think I, I don't have the, <laughs> the images. Uh, there was a QR code uh, to uh, a new RFC that is uh, currently uh, written, but uh, you, you won't have it. <laughs> uh, and the resources, obviously no, no images. Uh, you have the uh, and uh, that's beautiful with that. But we have the, the, the GIF at the end. <laughs>